What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Top Picks Wave. And today, we're looking at our first Top Picks Wave of 2024, and that is with the Top Picks Wave featuring Cody Rhodes, Logan Paul, and Sheamus. That's a pretty unique wave. I think it's kind of fun because we have a bunch of characters in here that, you know, okay, we've seen Cody Rhodes once before in this line, but Sheamus is new in this line. Logan Paul is new in this line. This is actually Logan Paul's first ever elite figure. We, of course, did see him back in the Ultimate Edition line, the Mattel Creations exclusive, and Cody Rhodes also has a Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition, but today we're covering their elite figures. Now, I'm actually excited for this full wave. I think it's awesome. Now, you're probably wondering, MDT, why the hell is the Sheamus figure chilling? And it's because I don't have this figure, uh, the, the new version of the this figure. This is the Elite 97 Sheamus, which is being re-released in the Top Picks wave as a Top Pick Sheamus, but it is the identical Elite 97 figure. <laughs> so that is why this is here. If you guys want, you know, an in-depth look at this, you can check out my Elite 97 Sheamus figure review. Now, in this review, we do have two other figures, and they are brand new, and that is the Logan Paul and the Cody Rhodes. Now, I'm a massive Cody Rhodes fan, and I'm not particularly a Logan Paul guy, but I still think the figure looks sweet, and we're going to dive into all the different things, man. But if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Lots of great figures over there, man, but today, we're going to dive into these guys. I'm excited for it. Here's the front viewing window for Cody. Got the handsome fellow over there. Got the nice figure there. Got the red gear. Top picks. The American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes must have superstars Cody on the side top picks and then you got Cody on the back there he is clearly not wearing this gear I don't know what the hell is that he's got gray silver we got this in basic form I think but now he's in red right here and I'm pretty sure Jazzwares made this gear too so it'll be fun to compare them you can't tell me they didn't do that on purpose they're trying to flex a little bit but there's the American Nightmare right there and then we also have the Logan Paul here now what's particularly cool about this is it does include his prime bottle you guys know his energy drink or his caffeine drink or whatever whatever the hell it is. He comes with this Prime, which I think is awesome. I kind of figured we would get the Prime bottle in figure form somewhat, but I thought it would be probably a ringside exclusive or something, but there is gripes about this figure, which we're going to get into, but there's Logan Paul there. You got Logan Paul on the side, and then you got him doing the splitsies, was there for that event. Fantastic match. The ultimate influencer. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Logan Paul's name on the side of my box is all beat to hell, but at least it's the Logan Paul figure. But nonetheless, man, let's crack these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, take a look at the top picks wave of 2024, and see where they stand. Alright, man, so here's Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul out of the packaging, liking what I'm seeing, man. Holy crap, this... I mean, dude, this is a very quality amount of figures here. Between the Cody, the Logan, and uh, I mean, I already have the Elite 97 Sheamus, and I know how damn good that figure is. This top picks wave is shaping up very nicely, but what we're going to do first is run through the Cody figure, and then we'll break down the Logan Paul, and we're going to get into comparisons. We're going to break down all their accessories. We're going to do all the good things, man. So with that being said, let's get into the Cody Rhodes accessories before we get into the Cody Rhodes figure. Now, one thing about Cody Rhodes figures that's going to improve in 2024 is with his next Ultimate Edition that is coming in WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21, hopefully we'll get updates on that figure soon, is they're actually going to give him the accurate weight belt. Now, unfortunately, this is not that figure, so this is still the inaccurate weight belt, but it does have the Nightmare. We have seen this on his last two Elites, I do believe. Maybe even his last three Elites. He's gotten four Elites total, including this new top picks so far since he returned to WWE. does have the nice Nightmare graphic on there, because, but I'm not going to use this because of the... And I, it really drives me nuts that there's no, like, buckle on it. It's just very crap. I don't like it, so... Yeah, it's just kind of crappy, man. Yeah, look at that. Just looks lifeless. Hate it. Get the hell out of the yard. Now, outside of that, you do get mic holding hands. And one thing that's great is they gave him the white peg right here for the hand tape. So his right hand always has the tape on it. You guys know it's synonymous with Cody Rhodes. So he does have the white hand tape with the white peg for the mic holding hands. Now, he also comes with these throne sitting or prayer clasping or entrance style hands. Kind of like the booty grabbing or something like that kind of hands. But he's got the white peg on there. These are nicely sculpted. We've seen these a hundred times way back. I mean, these have gone on for 30 series now, so these are nothing new. And then out of the packaging, he does come with fisted hands, and these are not going to shatter the earth. So that's all you get for your Cody Rhodes accessories. Now, I mean, Logan Paul figure, hey, it kind of blows this one out of the water when it comes to the accessories. Now, getting into the Cody Rhodes figure itself, we did see this head sculpt back on the Ultimate Edition. This is the smiling head.
bobbing head sculpt. We got a screaming expression. Then we got the blank stare kind of expression. And I've seen a lot of people giving this, this head sculpt hate. I like it. I don't think that it's the best head sculpt of all time, but it's certainly good. I think it captures the likeness. It gets the hair shape right. It gets the eye color right. I think it kind of has that shape of the face of Cody Rhodes. So I like this head sculpt. I don't have any issues with it. I'm glad that it's not the same stern or blank expression that we actually get an expressive head sculpt this time around. So I'm all for that. They're still putting the damn tattoo on the neck, which I've stated this a hundred times, bro. The tattoo on his neck is not that close to the ear. It's just not, man. I've s I'm gonna plug it every time until they do something about it. Just take it off of, of the neck right here. Just remove it from the head sculpt. Don't put it on the head sculpt. I think it can live right here. And I know you're going to say it covers up the crowns right there, but I'd rather it cover up the crowns than having this break up in the tattoo. It just looks weird when he's doing this, man. So I would remove it from this head sculpt and just keep the tattoo where it is. Maybe you can lower it like barely, like just slightly to see if you can see some of those crowns underneath the head sculpt. But this isn't it, man. The tattoo is not touching his ear like that. Outside of that, you do have the standard Cody Rhodes torso. It's the Seth Rollins torso. You got little chest hair on there, which is nice. You got the dream tattoo. Am I tripping? I feel like that dream tattoo is way higher than it usually is. Hold up. You know, what the hell is even that? What the hell is even that? Why? 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 Why did that happen? Dude, are you shishing me? The dream tattoo is too high. God. Yeah, definitely too high. I knew something was up. Why would he run? Next up, we do have his red gear right here. Now, it looks very quality. You know, you got that dark red going around with the black, like, scale patterns. Cody Rhodes logos and stuff. You got the royal blue and gold going around. Cody has great gears, man. He's very toyetic because of his gears. I think they look awesome. Very, like, I don't know, Homelander, George Washington is what I think of a lot. Very fire. You guys know I love George, so this is awesome. I like the knee pads on there and everything. You got the boots in there with the American logo goes got the American Nightmare on the boots there. And one thing I also thought about is couldn't they give this guy the Cassius Ono Elite Boot Mold if anybody has that figure? Pretty sure those are the accurate Cody boots because these are like the Drew McIntyre Heat Slater Mold. I'm pretty sure Cody Rhodes wears like those Cassius Ono Elite Boot Molds would be more accurate. So I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. Now, I'm not going to go over articulation because this Cody Rhodes has the same exact articulation as the last three Cody Rhodes Elites. But being a massive Cody fan, I do want to get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. So for your Cody Rhodes Elite figure comparisons, this is every WWE Elite Cody Rhodes figure that we have gotten so far from Mattel since his return. Not including the Ultimate Edition, like I said, this is only the Elite. You have the Elite 101 on the left, you have the Defining Moments Torn Pet Cody on the right, and then you have the Top Picks Cody that I did a head swap with. It's kind of like that light grayish metallic blue color. I love all these figures in their own right. I just love the Cody Rhodes figures, man. They feel buttery smooth. They're kind of the standard for, for WWE elites, I think. They're buttery smooth. They capture the likeness. They look like the character on TV. Hell of excitement for the figure. They did mess up the tattoo location, though. Look at all the tattooed locations. I knew it was too high. I could just look at it. So hopefully they'll lower that back down because I'm pretty sure the rest of the figures are accurate compared to the top talents. So that's kind of annoying, to be honest. But I still really enjoy this. You know, it's very cool. But it's awesome to see all these elite Cody Cody's coming out. I'm all for it. And I bet in 2024, we already know we're getting an Ultimate Edition. Pretty sure he's in like Elite 109 or something like that. And I'm pretty sure he's going to probably get another Top Picks figure, man. So they're going to be pumping this guy out like it, like hot cakes, man. It's just going to be over and over and over again like Rey Mysterio. And then for another Cody Rhodes figure comparison, we do have the Supreme AEW Cody Rhodes. And I'm pretty sure this is the Walmart exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. And these have the same gear or very similar gear. I want to say it's the exact same gear, though. You know, smiling head sculpts and everything like that. The gear is is pretty much the same here. So yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a different take there, but they're very, very similar. Maybe not the exact same gear, but they definitely are uh, like virtually the exact same. But you can see the AEW Supreme figure actually has an accurate weight belt and it looks damn good. I'm going to be putting one of these weight belts on here because I think it'll, you know, all the colors will look good. But it's very cool to see, you know, two, the same figure pretty much made by two separate companies, so that's pretty cool. And also, this tattoo's pretty accurate, too, where the pec location is, so that's good. And then for our last Cody Rhodes figure comparison, here is the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition up next to the new Elite Top Picks. And again, man, tattoo location. Accurate over here, not accurate over here, and you guys can see I have the exact same head sculpt on there from the Ultimate Edition, but, uh, oh, oh my god in heaven, bro. I freaking hate when that happens. So, yeah, there's just another look at it. God, man, I hate when I knock over the damn background. So, for Logan Paul's figure, man, they loaded up him up with effing accessories. He's got his entrance vest right here, which is very unique. It's got Paul on there. You got the yellow and the blues. You got navy blue, royal blue. 
got these like tassels going off. You guys saw how it fit the figure. It doesn't fit the figure as nice as I'd like. Like the collar is all popped and stuff like that. And that may be accurate. I guess it is accurate. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's just a bendy wire would certainly help it. But I know we're not, we're not going to be getting that here. It's just, I don't, I don't know. But it is still very quality and it fits the figure well. And it's a great cloth goods accessory. And I'm always going to love that. So as far as the cloth accessory goes, this Logan Paul vest is amazing, man. Really top notch quality and work by Mattel. I like this a lot. Then next up, we do have the Prime Bottle. Now, all of this is cool. It's got blue raspberry on there. The color seems to be accurate. I like how they have the blue cap. Prime Bottle, you know, the logos look good and everything. I think it looks really, really good. The, the only thing is the bottle shape is not accurate. They did just use a regular water bottle that we've seen with Triple H and guys of that nature. However, it's supposed to be a different shape, and I understand that, but it is still cool to, like, see this in, in WWE figure form. So I think it's awesome they included this. Again, I just thought it would come with, like, some sort Sort of exclusive but it is nice to know that this is going to be kind of pretty much widely available it's a top picks figure and top picks figures are usually everywhere even though i've never seen the dusty Rhodes seth rollins figure that was a top picks never saw that and then for interchangeable hands we do get mic holding hands you get interchangeable fisted hands and then you get the pointing hands which are obviously used to point at people and Tell them to shut the hell up. So getting into the Logan Paul at the top of the head sculpt, this is one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts. It's got the headband on there. It has the uh, the wide open mouth. I do believe we got a tongue out head sculpt, and then we had sort of a straight face. And this looks good. I think it looks like Logan Paul. The beard looks good. The hair sculpt is good and everything like that. I don't think there's any designs on the headband or anything, which I don't think there was any designs on the headband at Mania, so I guess it makes sense. He's got the, uh, I think this works well for his torso. It's the Finn Balor style torso or the Cody Rhodes style torso, Seth Rollins, all that good jazz i think this works well the skin tone's nice as well you have his elbow pads in there which are great got the yellow and the black and the blue and one thing that stinks is he doesn't have wrist tape even though he clearly wore wrist tape i think on one side he had yellow one side he had blue but maybe all that budget went into you know the prime bottle and the vest and all that stuff but they went all out on every every logo paul figure they've done so far has been over the top man but i really would have liked to seen the buddy murphy crotch right here to get this sculpted on right here with this you know with the strings and whatnot but we didn't get that but he has the blue yellow and black going around. I haven't liked any of the gears he's worn so far in WWE. I think they're trash. He has some of the worst gear ever. It's just not, I don't know, I just don't like it particularly. It just looks very, I don't know, like 2K create a wrestler, very generic and bland, but at least the colors are nice. You got like the shiny blue, yellow, black going on, and it's a great formula, and he has ball joints, so I mean, the guy's gonna be able to pose around well. Got a lot of Wolverine vibes going on right here, but I don't know, just the stripes, it's just very, I don't know, I don't like it. Now again, this figure is very poseable. I don't think you're going to have any, like, his, his two figures he's gotten so far from WWE, not including the basic we have coming in the Championship Showdown pack with Roman Reigns, figures have been fantastic, man. It's kind of unbelievable. I don't know if it's, I don't know if they just are putting more attention to details into it, but it's certainly shown, but he's on ball joints, he can pose around, pretty sure these are the Cody Rhodes thighs or the Seth Rollins thighs, so he, he can pose around with the best of them. I don't think you're going to have any issues with that, man, but I do want to get into some Logan Paul figure comparisons and uh, get into that real quick. And for a comparison, we do have the Ultimate Edition Logan Paul next to the Elite, and they pretty much scale perfectly. I, you know, I mean, dude, it's, it's unbelievable how nice this figure is and again i'm not a logan paul guy but both of these figures are are just simply incredible i really like the ultimate edition i think you know if you check out my top 10 ultimates from the year i want to say it came in at like number seven or six it was a very quality figure you know if i was a bigger fan of logan paul i'd probably be higher but uh it's awesome man then you have the u.s championship take this u.s title you can put this over here i mean yeah dude i'm i'm having a lot of fun with the with the figure here even though i can't really stand the guy so look at that u.s champion logan paul what a joke but yeah it looks good with the figure and the title, man. Very toyetic, so, you know, I, I like it. I think the figure is executed almost damn near perfection, so that's great, but I think that pretty much does it for our Logan Paul figure comparisons. Anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our Top Talents 2024 wave so far. I think it's, is it Wave 1 2024 or something like that? I think they break it up by different waves, and I think we get three or four Top Picks waves a year, if I'm not mistaken. Typically, they do do re-releases like we're seeing here with the Elite 97 Sheamus. But anyways, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up our wave. I, I like the wave a lot. I think it's a great wave. You know, the Sheamus, very underrated coming in here. If you missed out on the Elite 97, definitely grab this one. But the Logan Paul is a standout. The Cody Rhodes is just as good as his other. It's just a great standout again. I like that we're getting a different gear here in red. We've seen a light gray slash metallic blue. We've seen a solid blue. We've seen a white and blue. We've seen the gold from Mania, which was inaccurate. And now we have a red gear. So I think 
amazing. You know, continue to pump out the Cody Rhodes figures, man. And we're also getting a navy blue gear from his match at WrestleMania. And then, of course, I'm sure we'll get some other colors, you know, as it goes down. But if you guys want to pick these up, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout-out to those fellas over there. Always appreciate every single one of you guys for everything you guys do for me on a monthly basis. Room tour is coming, man. I thought, you know, I always underestimate how how long this shish is going to take. And this has been a massive project. Every single day, I am grinding for hours on this. And I hope that you guys can tell the amount of effort that I went through to do it. And I'm just going to say that it's going to be up any day now. I've just been tirelessly working on it. Every single day, I go somewhere to pick up something else that I need to set it up. I'll go, I've will go. i been to Lowe's a hundred times in the last couple months, especially this past week been to Target a million times, picking up things and grabbing things, and I still don't have enough room to showcase everything, so I had to put some figures in boxes, which you guys will see, but I hope you guys do enjoy it once it do, does finally drop. It sh it's going to be this week. I just don't want to give you guys a day. I thought it would be up last week. I thought it would be up Saturday. I thought it would be up Sunday. So now I am just, I, I apologize, but it's going to be worth it, man. But thank you guys for everything. I appreciate every single one of you guys enjoying it, man. Let me know if you're going to be at the Royal Rumble down in the comment section below. I'm still working on getting my ticket secure, but I do believe I am still going to be attending the event. So let me know what you think, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Toys. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.